All right, hello guys, and welcome to our late November forecast. I love these early and late month forecasts because it gives me an opportunity to cut the months in half and give you guys a little bit of an updated long range forecast on them. Anyways, but before I get started with this video though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you like weather related content and also make sure to share this video with your friends and family, whether that be over social media or direct message. Now let's get right into things. We're looking at our teleconnections. I showed this in a video about two days ago. They are trending better and better for cold weather. So they're trending more towards a cold in the east type pattern. And we are going to go day by day over our temperature pattern as well, which is going to give you a good chance to just see how persistent this cold really is going to be. And it's actually looking quite impressive on the models right now. So we're looking at our Arctic oscillation and you really want this one to be in its negative phase for cold anywhere in the United States, really. Uh, but you can see it's staying negative. It's negative right now, but it's going to go even more negative as we approach the 20th. And then it's going to kind of linger below that zero line there, meaning it's, it's expected to be negative basically through December 2nd there, where it's going to trend towards maybe neutral, but I mean, that's pretty far out. So we will see. Now, here's your North Atlantic Oscillation. This one's a little bit more to do with specifically the east. So when this one's negative, we usually do see a trough set up in the east, or at least the pattern is encouraging a trough in the east. And you can see that trend's negative, especially towards the 20th and beyond towards the 25th, which is going to be interesting to see how that plays out. Uh, this would also encourage in the wintertime, especially winter storms in the northeastern United States. So we'll have to see how that plays out. We do have multiple opportunities for winter storms coming up. So it's going to be interesting to see how this influences everything going forward. But again, this one also trends towards uh, pretty neutral as we get towards December 1st, December 2nd, that area. I can't wait for December. One of my favorite months. Now, here's your PNA, which is the Pacific North American Oscillation. And all you need to know about this one is when this is positive, usually we have a ridge in the western United States, which would encourage a trough in the eastern United States once again, when, especially when in tandem with the previous two oscillations I showed you guys. So this one looks to be positive all the way through this, uh, December 2nd there. So all things look very, very good for cold weather in the eastern United States. Like I said, it looks pretty persistent and all all signs are pointing towards that type of pattern. Now let's get into the super exciting temperature forecast here day by day. This is gonna be very, very fun and exciting. I'm gonna show you from the 16th all the way through the 30th of November individually. So we're gonna be able to take a look at every single day. All right, getting started with the 16th, which is today, you can see we do have a ridge out there in the western United States, particularly warm there near the Rockies and just to the east of them. But we do have particularly cold weather there for the south central United States near Texas, Louisiana, Arkansas, uh, and some of those Gulf states as well through the Mississippi River area. And then also from the Great Lakes in through interior New England, we do have far below average temperatures as well in those purples and pinks especially. Let's move on to the 17th here. So this is going to be Sunday, the 17th of November. You can see that cold moves a little bit further east there as we see Minnesota warming up a bit, Wisconsin, Iowa, Kansas, Oklahoma, pushing the cold a little bit further east here. But we still see those areas in Louisiana, Texas, Arkansas, as well as up there in New England being the most below average out of anywhere. But really anywhere in the dark blue, purple, and pink, you're pretty far below average because this is in Celsius. Now... Let's move on to Monday, November 18th, and you can see basically the same story. The cold is weakening a little bit, but that cold is trying to push back a little bit. But for the most part, the warmth is really just staying pretty stationary, and the cold is a little bit weaker than it was on the 17th. Let's move on to Tuesday, November 19th here, and you can see that really it's the same story, just a little bit further east once again and a little bit weaker with that cold. We don't see any purples or pinks anymore, but really that warm, those warm temperatures out there in Nevada and to the west of the Rockies, that's getting a bit warmer there as we see. That's maybe eight to 12 degrees above average Celsius, which is far above average temperatures as that ridge is really building out there in those areas. Now, again, this is when we saw that AO, the Arctic Oscillation, then the North Atlantic Oscillation, really peaking in their negativity. So we're going to have to see um, if this really plays out how those teleconnections would, would encourage it to. Now, 
there is a bit of a lag with it, so we're going to see it take a little bit for those really peak conditions to set in. So here on Wednesday, November 20th, you can see we have below average temperatures still for the eastern United States. It is pushing a bit further east, but we have some cold temperatures building out there in the northwest. The warm temperatures are really centered over those four corner states and then Texas through Oklahoma, which must be kind of reminiscent of August time frame. That's when we had a big pattern like that for a very, very long time. Now on Thursday, November 21st, you can see that we have below average temperatures still for the east coast, east of the Appalachians, but there is some warm behind it pushing eastward very quickly. And then we have some cold building out there for the Rockies and just to the east of them now, a new trough that's coming in. So our pattern is trying to do a little bit of a reset here. And by Friday, November 22nd, you can see that we really have below average temperatures pushing eastward once again as that second trough is trying to move in into the eastern United States. It's over the Great Lakes, Missouri, Oklahoma, Texas by this point, and it's pushing eastward. We see the southeast and extreme coastal northeast still has above average temperatures for maybe a day and a half here around the 21st through 22nd, but no big deal whatsoever. Uh, and the west is cooling down a little bit there, but you can see by Saturday, November 23rd, the cold is really moving into the eastern United States, and it's intensifying too, as we see maybe four to eight degrees below average there, especially in the darker blues, and we see some warmth building back out west once again, and this is probably when that NAO and AO and PNA pattern is really peaking by this point. Let's move on to Sunday, November 24th, and you can see that cold is sticking around in the eastern United States, kind of moving around a little bit, but for the most part, it's there. And then in the west, we still see warmth um, in especially the southwestern regions. The northwest is a little bit of a flip-flop pattern there for sure. <clears throat> and by Monday, November 25th, that cold is really intensifying there. The deep south having the furthest below average temperatures, maybe 8 to 12 degrees below average for some of those regions. The northeast, though, I mean, you're still at about 4 to maybe 8 degrees below average. So, I mean, that doesn't mean you're not going to be far below average in the northeast, but really the deep south looks the coldest comparatively to normal by this point. The west is warming up slowly but surely day by day. We're seeing it get more and more warm out there in the western United States. Let's take a look at the Tuesday, November 26th temperature forecast in the extreme cold that was in the deep south is moving a little bit further east. It's more centered over the southeast by this point, and it's not too big of a deal where it's actually centered. You know, it's more important that we see there's cold in the east, warm in the west. That's the more that's more of what we should be paying attention to. And by Wednesday, November 27th, we see still cold in the east. Some cold is building back over Montana and some of the areas in Canada, like Alberta. And that looks to be another trough that's going to move in. But southwest, I mean, you're still persistently warm throughout this entire run. Nothing has changed for those folks out there. Thursday, November 28th looks very, very similar to the 27th. The cold is centered over the mid-Atlantic and the southeast and even the northeast by this point with 4 to 8 degrees below average. By time we're at Friday, November 29th, you can see it's starting to head a little bit further into the northeast, maybe a little bit of a southeast ridge building up by this point, but really the southwest is where most of the warm is located, and then the eastern United States as a whole is where most of the cold is located. And by the 30th, you can see we still have that cold pattern up there for the northeast and mid-Atlantic, and that warmth is kind of becoming more of a flip-flop pattern out there in the west. So that's going to be it for my day-by-day -day forecast. But I can let you guys know that uh, the beginning of December on this model does look cold as of right now. But again, that is further out on the model run, so it's going to be a little bit less certainty. But it does look cold at this point to begin, at least that first few days of December. But we're going to have to get a lot closer to December to be sure. And I'll be bringing you guys my early December forecast, obviously, and then my entire December forecast. So stay tuned for that one if you are interested how December is going to go. Now, here's going to be our five-day temperature uh, pattern forecast. We're going to do three of these. So this is day one through five. So this is the 16th through the 21st. You can take a look. It's very warm in the west, very cold in the east here from the 16th through the 21st. Through the 21st through the 26th here on the 6 to 10 day, you can see it's basically the same story, but it's a little bit more uh, conservative, I guess. It's a little bit less warm in the west, a little bit less cold in the east, but for the most part, it is cold in the east, warm in the west. 
And then by the 26th through the 1st of December, early on the 1st of December, so this is basically through the end of November, we see below average temperatures for the east and above average temperatures for the west. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was interesting, and I hope you guys really enjoy these ones where I cut the months in half. I enjoy making them, so I'm going to continue to bring them throughout, hopefully, years to come, obviously, uh, with some of these series that I do like with the weekly forecast, monthly forecast, and seasonal forecasts. Um, now, it's going to be interesting to see how this November ends up looking on paper because, I mean, if we see cold throughout the rest of the month, this might be one of the coldest December, or, I mean, November's in recent history, I was seeing, if you check out my Twitter, that's in my description. Um, I made a post yesterday comparing November of 2014. So that would be an analog for the winter of 2014 through 2015. And this November, and it, so far this November looks picture perfect. So similar, it could be, you know, it's, you know, twin to the November of November of 2014. So very, very interesting to see those ones line up almost perfectly. And I was forecasting 2014 and 2015 to be my top analog for this winter. So very interesting to see those two Novembers line up perfectly. Anyway, guys, you can go check that out. That's on my Twitter in the description down below. And maybe I'll put it in the pinned comment as well. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next video.